I don't know if these are the best Sloppy Joes, but they're my Sloppy Joes and they are very good. So that's what we're going to do. We're having Sloppy Joes. <laughs> yeah, I make my Sloppy Joes. I do not use a manwich can, okay? That stuff is not good for you. I make them taste a whole lot better. All right, to make my old-fashioned Sloppy Joes before manwich, you need some pepper, some salt, some garlic, some Worcestershire, some mustard, some ketchup, some tomato paste, an onion, a bell pepper, and I'm using about a pound of hamburger meat. First, I'm going to cut up my vegetables because I need them cut up pretty fine. Dyson, Dyson, Dyson. Now you can use any kind of onion that you have. I just happen to have this purple. So that's what I'm using. And I'm going to use about half of it. All right, now we're going to go over to the stove and get my pan hot and brown up okay, these We're going to need a medium high flame, which is about right there. And we're going to let that get hot, and then in, when it gets good and hot, I'm going to add a little okay. butter. pan's hot. Let's get like right, add a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of butter. See that sizzle? My pan's good and hot. Now I'm going to put my veggies in there. Okay. In we go. Ah. Right, we're just going to give them a little stir. Get them out all over the pan. Randy's already eyeballing them. Stay out my food. All right, now while that's cooking, we're gonna come over here and get that burger ready. All right, I got my right at a pound of hamburger meat, and I'm just gonna start adding stuff. That's uh, probably half a teaspoon of pepper. Yep, there's pepper. All right. Same thing, about a half a teaspoon of salt. About a half a teaspoon of garlic. <coughs> pepper went right up my nose. Now, wish this year, that's a preference, and it's as much or as little as you like, but we like it. So in it goes. Okay, and I'm going to mix that all up. I know I could do it in the pan. I know, but I would rather do it here and have it all incorporated and kind of mushed and mashed before I put it over there. You don't have to. Okay, let's give this a little stir. I'm starting to get a little brown. And I'm going to push this over out of the way for just a second. And I'm going to put my hamburger right there. All right. There we go. All right. See how much easier that burger is to break up if you do it in the bowl first? See how quick that was? I love it, I love it. 
I'm all about fast. Y'all know I'm all about getting dinner on the table at a high rate of speed. Okay, now I'm going to mix my veggies up in there. And I am not going to take that little bit of grease out of there. Now, if you want to, by all means, take it out. But I'm not going to. All right, at this point, all my meat's done. My veggies are like at 90% soft. So now I'm going to add the last three ingredients. All right, I got my tomato paste now, and I'm gonna use about half of this tube. It's a five ounce tube, so that's like two and a half ounces of tomato paste. Uh, looks about like half of it to me. Now I'm gonna use the same amount of ketchup. So that's like two and a half ounces. I'm just going to guesstimate that that looks about right. Okay, and I'm going to use just a little bit of mustard. Like, what is that? Two tablespoons of mustard. And we're going to give that a stir. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that eye down low, low, low. And let it reduce down so that it's really, really thick. That way it's not so sloppy, sloppy check. Okay, we're going to start cutting our bread for our sloppy joe. And get that on the plate. We're going to get our sloppy joe. All right, and we're going to drop our not so sloppy sloppy joe on our bun. These are grown up sloppy joes. All right. The other way. There we go. All right, and with our sloppy joe, we're going to have ugly onions. And I'll leave a link if you want to learn how to make ugly onions. They are so, so good. Randy just loves them. And me too, okay? They're very, very good. 